Hey guys, I made this video yesterday and my phone chose not to save it. Go figure. Anyways, uh, so basically I feel bad about having to remake the video because I made some really good points and had some really good topics and now I don't remember how. Anyway, I'm um, driving, going to get food. Isn't that what I always do? I just go get food. It's unbelievable. Anyway, um, yesterday I had uh, the perfect experience of a company uh, wanting their customers more than wanting their money, and uh, which leads to money, uh, versus a company wanting their money more than they do customers. And I felt like I wanted to share that with you guys. So, basically, here's how it went down. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I called Best Buy. I've been looking at this printer. I've been thinking about getting a new printer. Um, copy, scan, fax, print, all the, the works, you know. And um, I've, I had one that I bought from Brother, and it didn't have a backlit, can or backlit screen. And it was just, ah, uh, it was annoying. So... I, uh, I finally got rid of it, found someone on eBay who wanted to buy it, and I shipped it off to them yesterday, and I decided I was going to have to replace it. You know, I didn't have any fax machine or anything now. I pay for a phone line for nothing. Why is it so dark? I'm trying to look through the phone. It's just so dark looking through the phone. Anyway, uh, so I called Best Buy because there's this printer I wanted, um, but I needed to price match it to somewhere else because, you know, I prefer to use Best Buy. I got the reward points. I got everything going on there. It's just easier to, to order it directly through them rather than go through the company that had it cheaper. So, got it price matched and all that. Anyway, um, so I asked the lady very specifically because we need the printer by Saturday, which is tomorrow, by the way. Um, I asked her about getting it delivered on Saturday, uh, you know, would, would expedited be enough or did I need to pay extra for express? She said expedited was two days, so it should be there by Saturday. Perfect. You know, it was going to ship out the same day because I ordered it before three o'clock. Everything was working perfect. So, um, later that day I got an email letting me know that it had shipped and the tracking was showing delivery on Monday. And I'm just like, we, we, we very specifically talked about this. I needed it by Saturday. Now, the reason that I needed it by Saturday, not just because I'm being, oh, I need it. Um, <laughs> but the reason I needed it by Saturday was because my mom works, and where she works, she has to fax in her own timesheet every week. And it has to be in on Sunday. If it's not in on Sunday, she doesn't get paid for that particular week, and then you got, you know, you're about you're behind a week it's just annoying so so yeah not gonna have it by Sunday which is great so uh, I called Best Buy to complain because you know that was one of my very specific questions of you know when would it be here would it be here on Sun or Saturday and you know that was that was kind of you know the point of me you know I was gonna pay $28 for express shipping, but I decided not to, because <laughs> the lady told me I didn't have to. So anyway, I complained, and, you know, for my trouble, they were really, you know, understanding and, and easy to work with me, and they offered me a $20 gift card for my trouble, and, you know, that's, that's perfect. That's what I'm talking about. A company that cares about their customers and is willing to, you know, do right by their customers when they make a mistake like that, that's that's the way companies should work. That's just how it should work. So, anyway, that was a, it was a huge mess yesterday, and I, I was really happy that they were willing to work with me. And in fact, because I, because I had already had a good experience that day, I thought, you know, something I'd also been thinking about doing was getting an iPad. And I'd love to have it on Verizon, but um, whatever. Anyway, I explained that in this next part, which is the part that I made yesterday. Only half of the video saved, so I thought that I would redo the first half, and you guys could watch it and get an idea of what I was talking about. So, 
I'll piece that video in here and it's going to be a lot more daylight than it is right now. So don't be off thrown off. <laughs> okay. Back to my corporate greed speech. I uh, turned the camera around so you could see me. What do you think? Am I pretty? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so Best Buy, good experience. Uh, you know, like always, occasionally they make the occasional mess up and you know, it's, it's a pain, but um, they usually make it right. Today they made it right. And I'm happy about that. That's a company that cares more about their customers than they do their paychecks. Now let's talk about the second thing I did today. It's been on my mind for a while that I really want to get a iPad Air. And I know that I want either the 64 gig or the 128 gig. But what I don't know is what carrier that I absolutely want. Like I really want Verizon because I have Verizon for my phone. They have great coverage where I live. I get LTE. Everyone I know uses Verizon and they love it. It works. So that's, that's kind of what I had planned on doing. Now my last iPad was from AT&T. I might still have it, but, um, and I got a good deal on it. So I think it was $8.29 normally. I got it for $5.29. That's a deal. That's a pretty, I mean, it's not a great deal. It's a good deal. So I went to Verizon today with the assumption that, you know, if you want a two-year contract out of me, I'm not going to settle for $100 off. So here's what I want. I want the 128 gig iPad, which is normally $929. You're offering it for $829 on a two-year contract. If you'll give that to me for $529, negotiable, then I will sign to your contract today. Now, negotiable means if they said $629, I'd have said deal. I wasn't really, you know, expecting to get 529. I just wanted to see if I could negotiate with them. I've done this before. I was able to negotiate with carriers on the price of the, the tablet or whatever it may be. They usually just apply an account credit. That's usually how it works. Not today. <laughs> Verizon is, an, is the perfect example of a company that is out to make a dollar, not to make a customer. They don't really care if you're a customer they're just, all they care about is, uh, is earning the money. They wouldn't budge one cent on the price. That was non-negotiable. It was $8.29, take it or leave it, or $9.29 with no contract, which obviously if you have a brain on your head, you're going to do the $9.29 because why would I pay you $175 to disconnect early when I could just pay the $100 and on the device? That's stupid. So complete waste of time very disappointed. It's not like I'm just some random guy in off the street that they have no idea who I am and, and probably don't have a dime to my name and, you know, just trying to work up a good deal. It's not like that. I'm a very loyal customer. I have 10 lines. I mean, my balance, 10 gigs of data every month, which qualifies me for all the edge discounts. You know, the least they could do is work with me on a price. Nope. So I am parking now, went and got food. Uh, ooh, I got close. That's not cool. I'm gonna pull up. I got, I got dangerously close. <laughs> okay, there we go. So not willing to work with me on the price. Complete waste of my time. And uh, yeah. I don't have to deal with Verizon. Did I hit something? <laughs> I'm a horrible driver, guys. Okay. So, don't have to deal with Verizon. That's insane. AT&T was willing to work with me. And uh, there's no reason why, you know, in this day and age, many people are mistaken by the assumption that if that's the price listed, that's the price you pay. That's entirely not true. Uh, if you have cash and you're willing to buy something today with cash, cash talks and you can get it a lot cheaper. I don't pay retail for anything. Maybe gas. Yeah, I kind of have to pay retail for gas, but I do my shopping. I do shop around for that. So uh, here's your lesson for the day. <laughs>